Okay, folks, here's the latest garden close-up uh, shot of the garden that I uh, just planted, just made on the side of this slope. It's rough, just used some cedar logs, dug into the side of the bank, filled it up with good topsoil, and planted one of our 15-gallon Rapatophyllum hystrix palms in here. So this one's been in the pot for several years, and I figured, you know, better to put it in the ground. Around the base of it, I planted some... Uh, Camerops humulus volcano, that's a volcano, that's a volcano, that's a volcano. Sable tonii, just a small one. Two more Sable tonii over there. And just an experiment, and of course some Sable minor. There's some Sable minor palms here, but I really like the Camerops humulus volcano, so they'll all grow good together. It's a nice deep soil in here, it gets lots of sunshine, and uh, well, stay tuned for an update. It's a really nice, really nice needle palm, so I think it should do very well here. I mean, these ones are doing good, and they're gonna do a lot better now, too, now that that cedar tree is gone. That cedar tree has been reduced to this. It's been reduced to wood, and a tiki, and more tikis, lots of tikis. That was a big, that was a big cedar that made a big mess when it came down, so a lot of cleanup. So, anyway, that's what's left of it. And uh, those roots from that tree will never bother this garden again. So, because those roots from that tree would have been in this garden in no time flat, sucking the life out of that needle palm. And uh, they're the worst trees to garden around. They are terrible. They're beautiful trees in the wild, but not uh, in your garden or close to those. Like that was casting shade. It was towering over everything. So when it came down, it fell on the fence. It crushed everything. And uh, I had to take everything off of this fence and put it back up. It's a little beat up, but that's okay. There's the, uh, there's the stump, there's the needle palm, there's the new garden. So stay tuned for an update video on this Rapidophyllum hystrix. And uh, these ones I actually should water. It's very dry, very dry. Let's see. Yeah, they need some juice tomorrow. Tomorrow I will do a major watering. Lots of suckers coming up off these guys here. I love them. I just love needle palms, they're so cool. They're doing very well. All right, folks, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more videos here on Palmy Things. Cheers.